guys, this is SRB. I'll seek and read the book of the Lord. Quickly, we are studying the um the book of every translation na about the begotten God, John 1.18. Is this literally that there's a, a second God? That there's a, Can we accept this translation of Alexandrian scriptures or is this a bias? Can we accept this? First of all, in Hebrews 1.8, God also called His Son... Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. So, so Jesus Christ called also a God from the Father it's Himself. God Himself called His Son, Son, um, a God. But it doesn't mean that we have two gods. The meaning of this is, is this. Um, begotten God means revealed God. Revealing God. Okay? Christ is the only God who representing the only true God. Jesus Christ is just an, a representation of God. Jesus Christ is just um, an image of God. Because in other translation like this book, like this Bible, in, in John 1, 8, John 1, 18, it's very, very different in, our, in other translation like King James Version. In Hebrews 1, 18, it says it's very, very clear. No one has ever seen God. No one has seen, ever seen God, but the unique one, who is himself God, is near to the Father's heart. He has revealed God to us. So, it's very confusing at first glance because it's referring to a God and God and who is God and who is the Father. And it's very confusing. But when we read this in other scriptures like Hebrews 1 8, that we can, we can figure it out that Jesus is God. But it, there's another God of God, the Father. God, Jesus Christ, is a representation of God. He is the image of God, the brightness of the glory of God. He is just an image of God. We don't have two gods. There's an invisible God and there's a representation of God, which is, we can call him God because of his representing God. And that's it. Because this God, this Jesus Christ, has a God. And His God in Ephesians 1, it's very clear. In Ephesians 1, verse 2 to 3. May God our Father and, and the Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and peace. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God, in, in other translation, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So there's a God. And Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So if Jesus Christ has a God and Father, it means the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ is our God. That's why in John 20 verse 17 it says, Christ said that uh, I will come to the Father and your Father, my God and your God. So it means there's a God, the only true God. Jesus Christ is just a representation of that one and true God. Because no one has seen God. Because God is invisible. No one has seen. No one has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son in other translation. And also, if we consider the begotten God per se, the begotten God is just meaning of is he has revealed God to us. It's very confusing at the first glance. If but if we understood more more deeply it just mean it just mean that there's there, this begotten god he has revealed god to us that is the meaning of it so there's a god the father it doesn't mean that there's god the son god the holy spirit god, god the moses moses god made him a a, a god to para on to 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 be a to be a a powerful hand to 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 bring to bring Israel out of Egypt. But this this Jesus Christ is called as God, fully God. It doesn't mean that there's a two gods, that two God in two person, God is one person. Jesus Christ is just an expression of that one God person. That's why in Hebrews 1 3, Jesus Christ, who is he being in the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, God's person, is dwelling in Jesus Christ. The work of God is working in Jesus Christ. The word of God is in the mouth of Jesus Christ. 
in in Deuteronomy 18 I will God said I will put my words into my into his mouth this is a prophet Jesus Christ is just representing God he is a unique God that is that is that is the the representation of that verse he is a, a unique God it doesn't mean that there's that we we should worship another God no we are worshiping the image of God the the the, the glory of God because this is the Lord of Lord King of Kings the first and the last the word of God if we worship this we worship God if we praise this we we praise God if we honor this we honor God John John 5 23 when we believe in the in this image we believe in God because this is God's image God Christ God is the head of Christ so there's a there's a di distinction God and Christ God is the head Christ is the below of the head so what is what is the meaning of this simple Jesus Christ representing the only true God Jesus Christ is not the only true God he is just representing the only true God thank you for watching and God bless stay in the truth in the truth god bless hello guys this is srb i'll seek and read the book of the lord quickly we are studying the um the book of every translation na about the begotten god john 1 18 is this literally that there's a, a second god that there's a can we accept this translation of alexandrian scriptures or is this a bias can we accept this? First of all, in Hebrews 1 8, God also called his son. Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. So, so Jesus Christ called also a God from the Father itself, himself. God himself called his son, son, um, a God. But it doesn't mean that we have two gods. The meaning of this is, is this. Come. Um, begotten god means revealed god revealing god okay christ is the only god who representing the only true god jesus christ is just an a representation of god jesus christ is just um an image of god because in other translation like this book like this bible in in john 1 8 john 1 18 it's very very different in, a, in other translation like king james version in Hebrews 1.18, it says, it's very, very clear. No one has ever seen God. No one has seen, ever seen God, but the unique one, who is himself God, is near to the Father's heart. He has revealed God to us. So, it's very confusing at first glance because it's referring to a God and God and who is God and who is the Father. And it's very confusing. But when we read this in other scriptures like hebrews 1 8 that we can we can figure it out that jesus is god but it, there's another god of god the father god jesus christ is a representation of god he is the image of god the brightness of the glory of god he is just an image of god we don't have two gods there's an invisible god and there's a representation of god which is we can call him God because of his representing God and that's it because this God this Jesus Christ has a God and his God in Ephesians 1 it's very clear in Ephesians 1 verse 2 to 3 may God our Father and, and the Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and peace all praise to God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ God in, in other translation God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ so there's a God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ so if Jesus Christ has a God and Father it means the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ is our God that's why in John 20 verse 17 it says Christ said that uh, I will come to the Father and your Father my God and your God so it means there's a God the only true God Jesus Christ is just a representation of that one and true God because no one has seen God because God is invisible no one 
as in no one has seen God at any time, the only begotten Son in other translation. And also, if we consider the begotten God per se, the begotten God is just meaning of is he has revealed God to us. It's very confusing at the first glance. If but if we understood more, more deeply, it just mean it just mean that there's there, this begotten God. He has revealed God to us. That is the meaning of it. So there's a God, the Father. It doesn't mean that there's God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit, God, God the Moses. Moses, God made him a, a, a God to para on to 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 be a to be a a powerful hand to 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 bring to bring Israel out of Egypt. But this this Jesus Christ is called as God, fully God. It doesn't mean that there's a two gods, that two God in two person. God is one person. Jesus Christ is just an expression of that one God person. That's why in Hebrews 1 3, Jesus Christ, who is he being in the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, God's person, is dwelling in Jesus Christ. The work of God is working in Jesus Christ. The word of God is in the mouth of Jesus Christ. In in Deuteronomy 18, I will God said I will put my words into my into his mouth. This is a prophet. Jesus Christ is just representing God. He is a unique God. That is that is that is the the representation of that verse. He is a a unique God. It doesn't mean that there's that we we should worship another God. No. We are worshiping the image of God, the the, the the glory of God, because this is the Lord of Lords, King of Kings, the first and the last, the Word of God. If we worship this, we worship God. If we praise this, we, we praise God. If we honor this, we honor God. John, John 5, 23, when we believe in, the, in this image, we believe in God, because this is God's image. God, Christ, God is the head of Christ. So there's a there's a di distinction, God and Christ. God is the head. Christ is the below of the head. So, what is what is the meaning of this? Simple, Jesus Christ representing the only true God. Jesus Christ is not the only true God. He is just representing the only true God. Thank you for watching, and God bless. Stay in the tr in the truth. God bless.